to run a GPT engineer project CD to projects folder. This is where you have your example project provided with the installation of GPT engineer. Now create a new project MKDIR Tetris. Now I'm going to open notepad and start typing description of the project. So here I'm going to say make JavaScript Tetris game, include all Tetris rules, use keyboard controls. Each cell on the grid is 10 by 10 pixels. Use canvas tag to render the game view. Tetris blocks can be red, blue, yellow, green, purple, or orange. As per classic Tetris rules, when any horizontal row on the grid is filled, erase it from the grid and drop the rest of the cells above down to available space and add 100 to score. Display score in upper right corner. Now go to file, save and save this file in projects, Tetris directory. Make sure to name this file main underscore prompt without any extensions. Make sure .txt is not part of the file. Now let's go back to the command prompt and CD back to GPT engineer folder. And this is how you run the project we just created. First, you need to add the API key. So use the export on Linux, but because I'm on Windows, I'm gonna use the set command. Open AI underscore API underscore key equals insert your open AI GPT-4 key here. Now, finally to run this project, type Python dash M GPT underscore engineer dot main followed by the folder name of our project, which was Tetris. Press enter and GPT engineer is going to start building your project. This is going to cost you about 30 cents in your OpenAI account when used with your GPT-4 API key. Now, sometimes when it's done, it's gonna give you this assertion error, generated entry point command that was not bash. At this point, your project is already built. So you don't have to worry about that error. So if you scroll up here, you're gonna see the code provided above is a fully functional Tetris game implementation in Java. So all you have to do is bring out your browser and drop the tetris.html file into the address bar. It's going to be in tetris-workspace folder. Now, if you see your files wrapped in brackets, they're not going to run in your browser. So we have to manually remove the brackets around the files that were generated and then drop the index.html file into the address bar. Now, as you can see, this is Tetris that was created entirely by GPT engineer. Left and right controls work on the keyboard. Pressing the up arrow will rotate the block. Now, the only thing that isn't here is when I drop the block, nothing really happens. I'm going to take a look at this in my next tutorial and see whether that code is missing or it's actually there, but not being executed for some other reason. I'm going to be generating several other games with GPT engineer in my next video. So if you want to watch me do that, subscribe to the channel.